Alright, welcome back to Let's Play GTA 3 Frosted Winter. I didn't want to record me driving all the way from Staunton to Portland. So I thought, I'll just do this. Just start recording from here. Right, here we go. In the shadow of dawn. Hey, what's wrong? Tony kidnapped Mickey. He's been held somewhere in St. Mark's. Go and rescue him. Yep, so remember when we stopped last time, our friend called us to say there was a problem. He called us over to the garage in Portland. As in Joey's old garage. So after this mission, the story missions will stop for a while. In order to continue the story, we have to play all the property missions. And as I said many times before, the property missions in this game are, well most of them anyway, are boring. If I, yep, if I remember correctly, Mickey is right in here. He's in one of these uh, alleys. There's him right there. Oi oi! Oh, here we go. Go to the place. There's going to be a lot of uh, speeding up in this let's play. There always is. As I said, I think I should get an update for this mod. Because in all the videos that I've seen for this mod on YouTube, the HUD is a wee bit different. And, um... There's different radio stations as well. As in different songs on the radio stations. I mean, the radio stations, I mean, the songs on the radio stations, on the videos that I've seen on YouTube, well, they differ. So it sounds like the mod creator brought in some new songs. Even Chatterbox is different. I mean, it's in a foreign language, I think it's Lithuanian or something. And furthermore, when you complete a mission, it plays a wee bit of uh, Sledgehammer by Peter Gabriel. Doesn't do that in my version. So, my version of the mod just has the classic HUD, no new songs, and the music's all the same. So that's the only thing that's different about my mod to the one that I've seen on YouTube. If you look closely, Mickey's head is sticking through the top of the car. I guess that's why Mickey Hamfists never appears in any missions in the main GTA campaign. Because <laughs> he's too tall for, for cars. I was thinking about speeding up that bit, but I managed to talk all the way. So you wouldn't be bored. Um, watching my ass is quite hard without a mirror, to be honest with you. I'm going to get somebody else to do it. Damn, what should I do now? Tony knows about me, and Yakuza does not want to see me. Buy properties and rise your power, not in a criminal world. Good idea. You should stay here for a while. Right. Let's put the cab in the garage. Save, and then continue. I'm going to save in a brand new save slot because well, my laptop has been getting really hot lately. And if it overheats, well, it shuts down by itself. Right, we've just got enough money to buy the first property. Since we're in Shoreside, we'll go for the dam, the Cochrane Dam, which costs 300 grand. So there's... Uh, six properties all together, two on each island. In Portland it's Head Radio and Mean Street Taxis. In Staunton Island it's the stadium, the football stadium, and Kenji's Casino. And over here in Shoreside it's the Dam and the Airport Car Park. And the more expensive the properties, the harder the missions. 
I have a feeling I could have gone to the dam much faster. So let's just speed it up. This could be fatal. Be careful. Nailed it. Now, I can't remember what button it is to buy properties. It says it's a uh, uh, number, number plus, or the plus button, but it's not. Not for me, it's not. It's not caps lock. Is it tab? I can't remember. Is it shift? One sec. Ah, it's the mouse button. That's what it is. The middle mouse button. The mouse wheel. That's what it is. Okay, look. First mission. These missions are for Darkel, a removed character. He's got the same model as Darkel. So you're the new owner. Yes, yes, I am. So, is there anything I could do for the dam? Or we're trying to get some police protection from possible terrorist attacks. They're still considering that. So I think we should help them make their minds. I stashed a truck with some, with some explosives, but an unknown party stole it. Yeah, I've got this device that tracks explosive chemical compounds. Find the truck and make some fireworks around the dam. But be careful. If you get too close to the explosion, it may blast you to bits. No shit. Alright. Now I saw a video. The truck in question is part at one of the houses in Cedar Grove. And we are not going to drive up the side of the hill to get back up. For one simple reason. It's im fucking possible. Yep. Each property, as I said before, each property has three missions. So that's 18 property missions altogether. Amazingly, I was able to do that maths. I'm shit at maths and numbers. I'm good at English and computers, but maths, fuck off. I don't do maths. Or math, as it's called in America. Oh! Damn car, more like. Damn stupid driver. Damn stupid fraps. It's behind one of these houses. I think it's this one. I really need to do more rampages to get my money back up. A. A is the first letter of the alphabet. You're a black belt. You were a black belt. Now, you're a dead man. Right. Scar the bombs in the marked spots. And the marked spots in question are... If I can get out. They're just around the dam. Oh, God. Here we go again. I've said this before, but push, I can see its head. Quack. Get that guy. Oh. I didn't even realise I had a wanted level. I'm going to be getting a wanted level anyway, so I might as well run people over. Oh, damn! What did the beaver say when he fell in the water? Damn. Quacky. Splatty. Whatever. I'd rather not. Come on, officer, you're meant to be doing your job. I thought you preferred burgers, not tomatoes. I mean, donuts, sorry. <laughs> burgers? Where the fuck did burgers come from? 
Yeah, I'm gonna be turning you guys into burgers in just a second. Watch me. Without wrecking the truck. Oh no! My truck is naked now. Semi naked. Now then. This bit is very similar to the wife from the main campaign. We have to take Marty Chonks' wife to the dog food factory and then dump the car in the sea. If you can hear me over the fucking noise, shut the hell up. Out the truck. Oh. Oh, thank you. I was about to say, is the truck not in the water yet? Because I must say, it took a while for a mission pass to pop up. Oi! Oh well, I know when I'm not wanted. And how's that even possible, my friend? I don't even think I want to know. Right. It doesn't matter if I don't save, and as long as I don't die or get busted, I'm happy because I want to keep my weapons. I could die right now, actually, if you're not careful. Come on! Whew. Lucky bastard. Right, the next mission involves driving a very volatile flatbed truck. It's heavy with the jelly, which means it's heavily laden with things that might go BANG! Running out of oil, so I want to get some more supplies. But someone torched your truck. I want you to fix that before the truck blows up. Then get new oil supplies. Yeah, as you can see, I'm just uh, correcting all the spelling and grammar mistakes. Find the fire truck and get the flames extinguished. I remember seeing that mission in the trailer. Oh, actually, it wasn't a trailer. It was actually uh, a screenshot for the mod. Damn. I forgot about this mission. If I'd remembered, I would have brought a fire truck for this mission. Oh well, it just so happens that I have to bring my own fire truck. During the mission. So off to the airport fire station we go. How do you get rid of a fireman? Just tell them you're fired. Your jokes are fucking terrible, mate. Move. Oh, Christ almighty! Well, that was the most unexpected thing that's happened to me in a while. Jeez, so... Six more of those, and we get another weapon at the hideout, I think. As well as another cop bribe, which will come in very handy. Now then, same place as before. The little area at the bottom of the Cochrane Dam, I said cock, where you kill Catalina in the final mission in the main campaign. Why couldn't it have been Maria in that helicopter? Rockstar! Yeah, Maria, I really hope you did get shot dead by Claude when the screen went black. Even Rockstar won't... I mean, even Rockstar can't decide if Maria did get shot dead at the end of the final mission when the screen went black. Uh, I've lost my way. I appear to have forgotten how you get down there. Take the long way around. Shit. Sorry, my mind just went completely blank right there. Move! Jesus. I will make it. Sorry, it was a massive brain fart there. This, this place is just so confusing for me. It's been a while since I've played it. Yeah, we're on the right tracks now. And the fire truck is fast enough, so no problem. This is no cartel to bother me yet. 
And I think this is quite a long mission. We have to extinguish the flames and then get more bottles and bring them back here. There. Yeah, take the car again. It's not a car, okay? Everybody can see it's a fucking helicopter. There's a nice rocket launcher there, by the way. At least I'm not timed. Get back to the damn truck. No pun intended. Right, now it's off to Pike Creek to get these bottles filled with oil. Where have I heard that before? He's no problem to kill you. So I think we'll do two properties in this recording session. The dam and the airport car park. I might do more, but we'll see. We'll see. I can't remember if the cops come after you at this point. Yeah, once you get the bottles refilled, I can't remember if the cops come after you or not. I'm hoping they don't. Because then it could very well be a repeat of... Blowfish and Rigged to Blow from the main campaign. And if you played the first Driver game, you would remember the mission in San Francisco called In the Pickup. Where you have to drive that pickup truck with the with the very volatile crate in the back. And that mission was actually revisited in the mission Arms Deal in Driver 3. Truck, yeah. Oh, fuck. Oh, truck! Mother trucker. At least it's only two stars and not fucking three or four. Go up here, and grab that wanted star, or cop bribe, sorry, from the little alleyway in here, just to turn the heat down a bit. Come on. There. At least I know where I'm going this time, unlike last time. Me and my brain fart. Quack, quack. <laughs> White out right here. <laughs> talking of which, yeah, talking of ducks. Two ducks were swimming and a big boat appeared. One said, Quack, quack. The other duck said, I'm going as quack as I can. Hello, goodbye. Good grief, good riddance. Once upon a time, the end. Oh fuck! I saw that happen in a video. Same thing happened, I hit something that just came out of nowhere. Or something invisible. And my truck burst into flames. Well, I think saying odd right there is an understatement.